what is going on guys we are back with another video but today we are at the junkyard and i really came for an oil pan for my mom's suburban well my suburban that my mom is driving but i came over here to the volkswagen section to see if maybe by any chance i could find just a mirror for the passenger side and i was looking at this I was looking at this little touring bmw right i was just you know over here opening the hatch and you know taking off the bbs center caps which i got here and my my bag but i look up and it's a full gti fenders are clapped which sucks this side skirt is torn over there where you see it off of the side but i got me a rear hatch cover which i didn't have and i'm still debating if i want to take this bumper or not it's not in terrible shape the lip i'm not worried about because i got it at the house what i'm kind of just iffy about is right here this brake which is still better than mine um and i also found this gti book inside and the grill was here as well i'm not sure if i'll take the grill i already have one but maybe maybe we'll take the bumper it's kind of in the same shape as mine so maybe not but for sure hatch cover the book and on mine this right here is broken so i'm gonna take this little sensor and then mine's leaking from over here from the thermostat housing which i might take i'm not too sure um everything on the shift tower is already taken off which kind of sucks um i am going to take both of these though both side mirrors it is a plaid interior so i won't take much from the interior but i will take the ac vents because they're all there i'm not sure on that one but i'm gonna take that i'm not sure about the ac control the radio was ripped out Let's see if we can find anything in here oh this is a nice center console oh wow maybe i'll take this who knows but um yeah guys i mean i haven't seen a gti a mark 5 and a, G a gti at the uh junkyard ever actually so i'm actually really surprised maybe eh, i don't think we'll take this bumper but i think it's a pretty cool find we'll see what we can snag off this car now keep y'all updated in a little bit the more i look into this car the more i want to know who owned it because whatever suspension was on it has been torn off the front and the rear it's got the stud conversion um it had i know that front bumper is not oem well it is oem but it's a special edition um see this is for the stud conversion right there um I'm missing this one. Well, mine's got the broken clips right here. So I'm trying to take this off, but that thing's stripped and it's on there. I'm trying to get it off with some pliers, but we'll see what happens. That is so cool. It's a military helicopter. What's up guys, we are in the truck now, out of the junkyard, and as you can tell, I look miserable because, for one, it is 100 degrees outside, two, I'm in all black, three, I don't have anything to drink, four, I actually found shit today, worth my time so i stayed um so yeah we actually got a pretty good score so i will be showing you guys the stuff that i found once we get home pretty excited actually because a couple of the stuff that i got are well one is some goodies two it's some stuff that uh fix this truck that I'm driving and I wasn't able to get that sensor off 
I was getting frustrated and I'm really thirsty. I have like cotton mouth right now. But, um, I got mainly stuff for the GTI and in the oil pan for this truck. But, um, I'll catch you guys back at the house once I have something to drink and I am cooled down because I have a major headache right now. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we are back home now. Um, I actually got more stuff than I thought I did. Let me take my keys out of my pockets because I actually have more stuff in my pockets. Uh, I'll show y'all real quick. All right, so, here it is. Start off on the top. So, there was a little touring, the one that the beamer I was showing y'all. Those are the center caps to all four BBS wheels. They actually say on the back, BMW somewhere, somewhere, where is it? Focus, oh, there it is, BMW. They are plastic, but they're genuine. And these were the keys inside the car, they were left in there. So it's just a cool little memory to have. I got both sides of the mirrors, even though I only need the passenger side. And I found the book inside the GTI, which was awesome. Um, I got the trunk hatch cover, which y'all know I've been looking for one for a bit. It is a little bent in the middle, but it's okay. Um, and if you guys probably just don't know, but I got the vents because for one, mine's all broken everywhere. Two, mine only air shows, uh, or not shows, throws air up towards the windshield and doesn't come out through these vents. So maybe hopefully this will fix it. I'm not too sure. Um, but I got this as well because if you remember, I replaced this on my car. Um, but it came out of a Passat, I believe. So maybe that's why. I'm not too sure. But this is what I'm really excited for. So this goes with this. Um, this is a boost gauge. It is from AWE. It'll load. There it is, AWE. Goes up to 30 PSI. And this is for the... Um, intake side they had this uh janky ass flimsy hose to it but and they also had it hooked up to the wiring to this that i got i'm super excited about it's a uh, european headlight switch so that's cool i've been looking for one of these for a bit and then this is the passenger side speed sensor which if y'all haven't noticed i have the trash control light on the dash before i did the whole front end rebuild i replaced the driver's side because it was broken because i had the abs and traction control but i didn't replace the passenger side one so hopefully this will maybe turn that light off but um anyways that is my score for today and obviously we got the oil pan over there for the suburban but i'm probably gonna throw this on here in a little bit uh the mirror for sure Maybe I'm not sure about the AC control stuff. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow because I have work here at 10 p.m. It's 6:30. I'm working an overnight till 7 a.m. But um, I gotta put my tools away, put put this stuff away, and then um, I also saw the thermostat housing thing that was on the GTI that's leaking off mine, but I didn't have enough time to take it off because it was getting really hot. So. I came home, I almost passed out, but let me um, see. I'm sure the boost gauge works, but I have the PCV delete on mine. It so may or may not work with my PCV delete, but uh, we're gonna check it out and see if, I'm just gonna look at it right now and see if it'll work, I throw it on. But if not, I'm gonna find a way to uh, make that boost gauge work because I've been wanting one for a very long time. That's what I was really excited about and that Euro switch. But um, yeah, guys, it was. A, I, I thought it was a pretty good score. I didn't. I didn't end up bringing that bumper just because the points where it hooks up to the the top of the radiator support and the ones for the fenders were both cut, just like mine. So it doesn't. It didn't really make any sense in me getting the grill or the bumper because the, the grill was kind of broken. Mine's in better condition. Um, the side skirts I could not get because the car was on top of 
steel wheels and you know that's how they put them on out on the at the junkyard i mean so um but i mean sorry about that other than that it was a pretty good day at the junkyard um the gti is pretty dirty i would wash it but like i said i have work in a few hours there she is <sighs> but yeah guys um i'm gonna see what i do right now or what i don't do um, this may or may not be the end of the video if it is i'm not sure how long it is but if it is i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and the support and yeah we'll see you guys in the next one we'll see you. for some reason maybe it's because the car's not tuned um the boost gauge doesn't well it doesn't read in the boost it reads in the down one the bottom gauge which is i don't even know what it is but so i took off the boost gauge and the line and everything to tap for it um hopefully oh, i did the wrong one hopefully um once i get a tune that'll change sorry the radio got connected to the phone um but hopefully once i tune the car that'll change but not too sure but for now changing this out see it's broken i put the rear hatch cover in um and i'm gonna mess with the ac stuff later i'll buy another one of these soon for now that's done install real quick is this if the connector is not different but i'm gonna pull this one out real quick go pull this and we unplug with i think one hand can i do it with one hand uh, let's see there we go the connector is the same yeah, let me hook this up real quick and see. All right, so I got it on, but I guess I won't really know what it does until, see right there, it's on auto. Let's see, anything's on? No, nothing is on. But if I pull it this way. Now that's on, pull it for the fog lights, pull it again. So that's the rears on. I'll fuck with it at night when I really can tell, but that's cool. It works. Well guys, with that, um, I am done for tonight because I am having dinner right now and i'll work at 10 p.m to 7 a.m right now it is 7 40 so i only have a couple hours i'm gonna shower lay down maybe for like 30 minutes to an hour get up and head out um i did get the pictures from that shoot from a video ago or two videos ago so i'm gonna finish the video off with a little clip just i mean it's not gonna be anything it's just gonna be the pictures played through um but yeah so um hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed this little clip of the pictures that came out amazing hopefully youtube and my app do not fuck up the quality of them but yeah i hope you guys enjoy it see you guys in the next video
physical anxiety. And then you think, can I observe the thinker thinking the thoughts?